Hey, this is Ben with Acura Outdoors, and um, we are kind of at the end of our little series of range stuff. Um, we did a video on um, where or how to find ranges, uh, different types of ranges, range etiquette, and kind of the last one I want to touch on um, is public versus private ranges. Um, so public would be defined as open to anybody who can just um, either pay a fee or um, walk, you know, if there's an open bay, you walk and just start shooting. Um, locally, there's um, there's one actual public range. Um, that would be the George Norris, or I call it Pickle Butte. Um, but there are some other places that is considered public ground. There's no... Um, areas that are dug out and everything it's just public um, bureau land management land that you're allowed to go shoot you know as long as you are safe and the other private would be defined as like a, a shooting club so for here you have like the napa rod and gun club you have the parma rod and gun club um, there's the emmett one and there's another one just popped up uh, it is double tap uh, those are all considered private um, usually with private ranges, you have to have some type of membership. Um, usually they'll keep their gates locked, uh, either have like a combination or um, some of them have been going to the, uh, the RFID keypads. Um, and those are really nice. And um, that kind of is the difference between them definition wise, or at least kind of separating. Uh, both of them have their pros and cons. Um, the a lot of the pros are you can go out and shoot uh, probably really whenever you want I um, mean if it's rainy you want to go shoot I mean it's still gonna be open um, but you're gonna have to deal with the weather uh, you have a little more free range on what you can and can't do uh, if you're shooting at private places sometimes they may have a little more restrictions and, and they're not bad. Um, so the one I probably have the most experience with, and they're a lot of them are the same. Um, the Parma one in our area is a very nice facility. There's a lot of different things, um, but usually they kind of break it down into um, pistol, small caliber, uh, rifle, and it's more of um, the distance. So you're not going to want to take like you know, a 6.5 Creedmoor and shoot, you know, in a 100-yard range where pistol guys are normally. Um, I mean, normally it will probably be 100-yard range, but if it says pistol, you know, it's because of what they've set up is to stop uh, those rounds. When you start getting into your, your bigger ones, um, the facility or the setup is set up to be a uh, larger caliber and have more of the distance. And then also, you know, the areas is uh, set up for it. So um, definitely the difference or the having, you know, the two is really, really nice. Um, but with um, those, you want to respect those, but you can do a lot of what you want in those areas. Um, as with public ranges that are kind of mimicking a private range is that um, you can't really do very much long distance. Uh, the, the, usually I would say it's like 25, maybe 50 yards. Um, 25 is pretty common. Um, there's not very many public places that are, you know, say someone did the work to put, you know, or is managed by whoever. Um, your best bet with public is going to be finding areas. So like uh, here at Acker, we have, a, we have a couple spots that we go out and it's out on BLM land and it's kind of in a ravine and, you know, it's, it's a, good spot for shooting long range. But, you know, we have to set up our own targets. We have to, you know, drive out, set them all up. And it's a little more work, but, you know, you don't have to pay to go somewhere. Um, on the other side, on a, a private or a club range, um, a lot of those targets are provided, which is really, really nice. At the Napa range, uh, some of the smaller bays will have a lot of, actually all of them have like usually a little table so you can put your your range bag and your gun and your ammo and something so you have something to work off if you're not working on the ground. Um, I know a lot of them have like plate racks that you can, you know, uh, flip up and uh, do those. 
Um, I know that they have a lot of targets in their shoot house, so you, or not shoot house, uh, their range house. So you can get you know some targets and shoot those. Um, so having that provided is really nice. So if you don't want to invest in targets and take that, um, that's something to look forward to. Um, so your kind of your offsets too is that okay? So if you pay like Parma, because I was looking into that, um, I think it's about one hundred and twenty-five dollars for a year membership. Um, and I think because of its location. Um, it doesn't have a wait list, whereas Napa Rod and Gun Club does have a wait list. So kind of depends. Um, but you are paying to have someone else maintain it. Um, you have targets there. Um, you're not having Joe Schmo go off the street. Usually people who are going there are like-minded, have about the same experience as you, if not more. Um, but it's kind of a different class of people. So I really do like going in that environment. Um, and they believe most ranges, if you have a membership, you can bring friends with you, but you have to be with them. Um, whereas if you're on the, the public side, it's a little more work. You're going to have to pay for your own targets, uh, clean up after yourself. I mean, you should clean up after yourself no matter what. Um, but definitely in the public range, you're going to have to pick up if you shoot, you know, say pop bottles or, you know, whatever. You should make sure you're picking that up. But, um, so those are kind of your pros and cons. Um, definitely you're going to be limited to whatever is available in your area. Um, in Idaho, fortunately, we love our guns and we love going out shooting. So, uh, we have lots of options. We have lots of places to do, you know, up to a mile shoots. We, you know, we have PRS matches here. We have USPSA matches. We have once in a while, we have IDPA. We have three gun. Um, so we have tons of places. So for us, the options are many. Um, whereas the opposite is if your area, you may only have, you know, a range and it may be, you know, an outdoor and indoor range or whatever, but, um, it's better than nothing. So definitely check it. Um, just kind of give you some things to think about with, um, pros and cons of what things we've noticed with, um, public versus private ranges or club ranges. So uh, stay tuned for next month or our next episodes and we'll kind of cover some new things. So until then, stay safe and we'll see you in the range.